Fluttershy is shy and quiet, but she doesn't care. She knows that she is really useful, like her friend, Edward the Blue Engine. Early one morning, Fluttershy was looking after her animal friends at her garden. She had important news for Edward. Twilight Sparkle says that not all of our friends are able to have a holiday by the sea, so she's having a dance party tonight. I'd like to help too. But without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a dance party. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. I wish there was something I can do for the party. I'd like to be helpful like Fluttershy. You're helpful in your own way, and that's on the railway! Next day, it was Fluttershy's turn to look disappointed. She had bad news. Twilight Sparkle has been so busy that she forgot to put up the posters. Now no one will know about the party! Don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. Then he explained to Sunset Shimmer. Twilight Sparkle can paste her posters on my cabin coaches, so wherever I go, they'll go too. Well done, Edward! I'm sure Sir Topham Hat will agree. As indeed he did. Edward steamed happily through the stations collecting his passengers. Look. The Equestria girls are holding a dance party. We must go do that. Later, Fluttershy was resting when Clement came by. Hello Fluttershy. Why are you dozing there like an old stick in the mud? I'm not dozing, I'm resting. Then, she told Clement about the dance party. I'll be there too. The dance party began. It had rained all afternoon, so the dance floor was soaked. Sunset Shimmer was unable to come to the party after falling sick from braving bad weather on getting Edward's passengers to the station. Rain and mud won't spoil our groove! No indeed! We'll just dance to the beat until we won't get bogged down! Soon, the Equestria girls were dancing to the beat played by the DJ. Later, Ash and his friends arrived. Hello ladies. We came here to dance too. Serena and Bonnie like coming here. Fluttershy gave them a cheerful good luck, and continued to dance. Then there was trouble. Help, I'm stuck. I'm the one who has to run. We better get you out of here. This will teach Clement a thing or two! Sonic and Tails pulled Clement clear of the mud. At last, Clement was free. Thank you Sonic and Tails. And as for you, Fluttershy, you're not a stick in the mud at all. No, but you were just for a little while. The next morning, Twilight Sparkle arrived to see Edward and Sunset Shimmer. Thanks to your good idea about the posters. Hundreds of people paid to come to the party. We've raised lots of money for our seaside trip. Edward was very pleased, and the Equestria girls felt very enjoyed after getting to the beach at last.